So this is an interesting thing. It's something you plug into a USB, a port or adapter, and then it floats in a pool of water. And what it is, is a diffuser. I plug it in, and after a few seconds, you see what it's doing? It's giving off steam. So that would be great smoke. So smoke effect for a layout. Something that is uh, on fire or perhaps a building that's suffered with some damage. It's a donut humidifier. Get them on eBay from China very cheaply. Quite a good thing. And they float in a pool of water. So depending how large your reservoir is, it makes a difference as to how long it will actually run for. But that amount of water there will probably last a few hours. I'm going to use this under the damaged buildings on my aftermath layout. This is the underneath of the layout. I've got a Chinese food container that I'm going to use to hold water. And in that will float some donut humidifiers. I'm pushing cocktail sticks through to mark out the position of this. And that will show me on the other side where the buildings will sit. Go careful with knives, of course. There are my two holes going all the way through and the houses will sit on top of those so they will go something like this. And underneath sits the water container holding my donut humidifier or humidifiers and they will pump steam up through these holes into the ruins. On the upper surface the ruins are sit there and what I may well do with this one is just put some ruined pieces in there and also in here some parts of the building that have collapsed that sort of thing just to help deflect the smoke around it this is the lead coming out the rear of the layout and I'll plug that into a USB plug adapter. Put some water in, normally I will syringe this in. Right there we are, that's the sort of effect, but bear in mind it won't be puffing up quite so much because there'll be rubble and stuff in there. Here I am doing a water vapour test with the donut diffusers and there's a slight issue, there's a lot of condensation on the floor, on the surface of the kitchen table as you can see and that would translate into condensation on my layout. This has been going for just under an hour and there's a lot of condensation around here as well which would be around the resin buildings. Now a lot of it condenses on the underside of, in this case, foil but that would be modelling uh, rubble and girders and things like that and a lot of it drips back in if I don't have that there then we get plumes of uh, water vapour and that really does condense everywhere around the model it gets it very wet so, so this is representing a sort of hole in the layout and that's the food dish and water tray I'm using. It's also going down really fast. I have 300 millilitres in there and I would say 200 millilitres have gone in an hour. So the rate at which these things evaporate the water is huge. Now I have had aroma diffusers that last a lot longer and give a lot less water vapour steam off. So I think I'll stick to those in the future perhaps. What I'm going to do with these ones though on Aftermath layout is use them, but not all the time. I'm just going to switch them on and off occasionally.